the fear of death is such an innate trigger to our prioritization of self-preservation in the evolutionary coding that connects us to nature. But what happens when we dive into this survival of the fittest operating system and really contemplate and challenge some of the assumptions that might put that programming and conditioning into obsolescence. Because when we see that, yes, the purpose of our fear of death is that it is primarily against the directive of that nature operating system. The, the preserving of life at all costs for the continuation of the genes. There is an incredible amount of pressure that comes with that uh, connection and that nature. But when we see the fuel of fear behind that, and that that was primarily encoded or played out in an animalistic fashion when the threats were mainly in the vicinity of our five senses. So the self-preservation sensors and the danger, the instincts, the threats were designed for threats being in our physical dimension. But what has changed over the course of these many, many years of evolutionary upgrades and level ups to our intelligence is technology, is how instantly connected we are to everything on a technological means and how exponentially enhanced that has made our intelligence and on the flip side how neurotic it has made our intelligence. So when we parallel this development and see that the fear of death that is so innate to survival of the fittest being the 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 scratching and the clawing to stay alive has gotten associated with all the things that we think are associated with our survival into the far 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 extended future of our life and our identity and all the things that we have to do as a person get associated with that instinctual threat to a body in a physical dimension. But when we could challenge this, these assumptions and challenge the neurotic amplification that is this fear of death being projected and simulated into a future, well, then we can get closer to the moment to actually analyze whether or not the threats that we are seeing are actually threats to buy into at all when we have technology as such a powerful tool to leverage to see that dynamic, to see the mixing of dimensions more clearly as a, a choice of fear versus love, of seeing the power and the potential that we have in the present moment to see and confirm that we are not actually under threat like the survival of the fittest operating system thinks we are.